art and science are working together for years. Uh, it's complicated because the Pythagoras are dreaming about it all the time to put it on the same way. So when Jose told me about the project, I was very confused at the beginning because it's a, a strange disease. I can't imagine uh, how they feel. So I read about the year, I wrote about the year, and finally I get an image in my mind. So I will show you in a moment. But uh, I was thinking what, what happens when the doctors is in the, in the, trying to tell the, pipe, the, 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 the people who have this disease how they are going to cure it. And it's very difficult because the, the, the epilepsy needs to operation and the image is strong. And it's not easy to be, the people to understand. It's too many blood maybe. So that's the reason the art can help the, the science. Uh, the art view can be more friendly, and with that, with what, with what, in, with, with what image, you can say a thousand uh, more than the doctor. So one year I was reading, uh, and finally I get the image and I paint it here. So uh, where is the chance to to show it? Do you wanna talk about the first oh, one and then, I, and then we go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, I, as, uh, as, as Jose told you, I wanted to be there for a year. And one day, one day I was in the National Gallery. Uh, there was a painting from maybe four centuries ago. And in the middle of the painting, it was uh, something wrong, something an, an image with, without si uh, sense. And I was with uh, a London friend. I told him, maybe it's a uh, scold. And I and he told him, what? Yes, it's, it's a scold, but it's in perspective. You need, to, you need to see it in perspective. So if you saw that painting and you put it in the, in the, in the perspective, with the image, the, it was with no sense. It came to, be, to have sense and converting the, in the Perfect skull front. So it was amazing to me. I was I was spent years uh, thinking of, uh, in, in, in that. And one day um, I make this painting, which is a, a lion. And you, you can see it with no sense as well. But if you see it because with the perspective, it begins to be a lion, a perfect lion face. Um, I, maybe in the future I was uh, I I was willing to make some murals with that uh, effect and people who in that per in one perspective uh, see John and if you walk uh, you you can see them old as a message as we are just time that's the, the the reason I paint this and this one. It is the most complicated painting I, I ever uh, do because it's a mix between uh, oil, oil painting, and uh, acrylic painting. All the all behind is acrylic, and the lady is in oil, and um, is the uh, is so uh, uh, complicated to explain. But I don't know how ma how many of you read about the, the, the gold point, the golden point. But it's the, the way the artist uh, make the, um, uh, put it, the, 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 different, uh, the different things in the painting to, to, to have a, a, a perfect uh, harmony. So this painting is the most, uh, it's not telling to me, it's the, the critics say this painting is the most uh, perfect painting I ever I ever do in my life. It's it's very uh, have harmony all the all the objects in the painting. There is a line crossing here. Just uh, get back here and go to the uh, how is the name in English? 
cricket. 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 So uh, it's it's uh, a long, a long uh, to explain, but it's very uh, special to me this painting. It's not just for the for the way I paint, because Jose is now the the owner. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of him. I just want, want to mention something that um, he explained to me that is very impressive. So many of the painters, they do the draw of what they want to paint. But there is a technique that the painter doesn't do the draw before. Just go and put the paint and then it has to be perfect because you don't have the way to see, well, I have to paint, I have a line. This woman, and you told me that, is painted with no preparation, right? So you the imagine first. that lady, well, you have a, you had a model, but you imagine that lady, and then you didn't draw the lady, right? And then you walk, you went and put the paint. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Some, uh, maybe some of you are trying to paint in oil, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, in oil, you have uh, too many chances to fix something wrong. But here, uh, you can, uh, you can't. Uh, you, 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 you need to paint at the first try. It's not, it's not way to, to get back or erase something. It's just, to the, it's just the beginning and the end, and that's all. That's the reason this painting to me is, is very important. When when I talk with others, with other, with other artists. Uh, the artists uh, are proud all the time and show the works, who is the best, and that's always in my pocket. Like, okay, at the end, I show them and say, okay, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's uh, the reason. And now, maybe it's uh, yes. one of two. Can I do it? You know, uh, I would like to uh, ask uh, Christian. So Christian is uh, someone one of my favorite patients. Right? <laughs> and then I'm going to ask Christian to go to one side. Uh, and then uh, maybe basically using the other side. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be careful. <laughs> and then uh, we are going to show the painting and then Eduardo is going to show you what what is in the painting. Uh, what was his thinking, and then I think it's going to be very interesting. Very good. Uh, go. So there are two. in my work, <coughs> the vines here, the grid, the life, the future. So the doctors are, uh, are in the position to, to say, okay, the nightmare is behind, don't worry, you can breathe now. That's a, that's a painting. Here's the, the flower of the place, uh, I forgot Rose. the name. Uh, and this is the best place of the painting because you can if you divide, uh, uh, as I told you, the golden point half centuries in the art, so you can make from Michelangelo, you can see the, 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 the they work. This point is the, the most important in all the painting. If you divide between uh, 1.618, the, the size, and 1.618, the, the long, 
the result is this point, and there is the flower. So um, at the end, the painting talks about the future, about you have hate, um, the nightmare, the, 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 the painting is called the epilepsy, leave the nightmare behind. So, When I was prepared to come to Canada the last week, uh, Jose called me and told me, hey, you need to do something more. I said, I can't. How? Oh, one week before. So he told me, no, you need it. So you need to, to, to paint the, the, the symbol of Canada in one of them. So, I put it here. Oh. <laughs> oh, and there is the flag of, of the, the, the province. Yeah. Saskatchewan. 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 Oh, by the way, this is my cousin in Mexico. He's a doctor in Rio. He's a cardiology. And his guy here is uh, my mother. Uh, husband. He's, he was a uh, doctor as well. So they are doctors in Mexico. <laughs> so that's a uh, painful. I don't know if you want to say something more. Uh, just, just to mention for the people uh, that don't know what is a grid. So this is one of the devices that uh, we put on top of the brain sometimes when we are deciding about epilepsy surgery. So then he told me, I'm not drawing a brain up. I'm not going to do that. And I said, that's fine. I understood that. So then, then he told me, well, I'm going to think about how I can put the representation of the surgery, right, uh, in this patient. In that way that you don't see the skull open, you don't see the brain, and then can be more friendly, as you said, for patients, right? So then, if you want to show this draw to, to this uh, painting to a patient, then uh, the patient can say, well, I can take that. Um, my skull is going to be open probably, but I'm not seeing that. And then it's more friendly and you can explain to the patient what is going to happen. Not all the times, I have to tell you, because sometimes the surgery doesn't work, but in many of the patients it uh, worked. So then uh, I think this is a very friendly and uh, thank you very much that you changed the concept because I was probably asking you something more <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> but then I think in the end was uh, friendly. So then uh, the other thing that I want to add is that I talked with the, this year, uh, this is the first time that the international meeting against epilepsy is done in Montreal. Uh, so this is very important because now these meetings are very international and they have uh, approximately 5,000 epilepsy specialists coming around the world. So now I saw the, uh, I know the committee because here obviously I'm part in some part of the program. And I asked them, can you, uh, uh, see the painting, uh, see if you like, uh, see if we can show, and then the uh, probably one of the famous epileptologists now around the world is uh, Canadian, he's, he's in Calgary, and he told me, uh, you know, I like the painting, but you know it's going to be a very international me meeting, so can you put the flag there, then in that way, you know, we show the painting, and then uh, people around the world are going to know that uh, the painting is from Canada, right? And then what is the, the, the thinking of this uh, painting? Are you okay with that? I forgot to tell who this is. Oh, yes. Uh, but sure. I don't, I can't pronounce it. Okay. That is uh, an electroencephalogram. Uh, now we have, uh, now, we, now we have computers, but uh, you know, before we had paper, and then uh, many of the people know here, Doc uh, Teresa. We, have, we went through the process with uh, paper, uh, and now we have computers. So, but it's nice, actually, to see that old uh, representation. So then uh, uh, I talked with Arla, and then uh, she told me that, obviously, everybody knows that we, we are going to have a PET scan unit in the hospital. And then she suggested me that a good spot for uh, patients could be the PET scan unit, and I think it's... Uh, I think it's a, uh, it's a good opportunity, and then, but it has to be after the meeting because <laughs> we, we have to write the, the article uh, uh, in an international meeting, and then I want to share this painting with some of the epilepsy associations across the country, some of the international epilepsy associations, and then they can use the painting uh, if they want, because there is no 
such such kind of art around the world about epilepsy surgery. So uh, I want to say uh, thank you very much for the painting. I know that uh, it was a nightmare for you. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm very proud to be working this because uh, at the end, of, uh, at the beginning of my uh, words, I say that art and science trying to work together in the same way all the time for centuries. Sometimes we can't, sometimes we can't. But I think uh, we make a good effort to, to make this real. Um, I hope it can help lots of people to understand how what happens if they get closer to, to science and doctors. That's all. The other thing that I'd like to say is that uh, another doctor in the U.S. Uh, asked uh, Eduardo to paint uh, something about uh, obesity. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know that uh, I saw some of the work. And it's very impressive. Uh, I think it's going to happen the same that you may go to the U.S. Yeah. to present that painting. And it's again about, about uh, medical disease. Uh, you can see how this person that has obesity is very impressive on the painting. So you will see that something coming. Uh, well, uh, it's 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 almost the same uh, project, but it's with uh, obesity, and uh, it's for help people in USA who have lots of people with that problem. And I will end the painting. I think in one month I will show you get in contact. In that side, you can see a a, a picture showing the sculptor. I made that sculpture uh, two months ago. It was for the uh, rheumatology college in Mexico, and it's in the office in the rheumatology college in Mexico. And as you can see, I always close it to the doctors. And I don't know why. <laughs> That's uh, part of my work. Thank you.
have been written. It, it really is internationally known. Uh, let's talk about why it was important to have an art piece involved in this whole uh, celebration today. Yes, uh, well, uh, you know, it's a very good question. When I went and reviewed how many paintings about epilepsy surgery were available, mm -hmm. there were only two or three from the Renaissance. So, and I said, I think it's a good opportunity to uh, ask a painter. And then I asked to Eduardo Urbano from Mexico, mm -hmm. who is a recognized painter in Mexico, to paint about epilepsy surgery. And he did a very nice uh, friendly painting that uh, represents what the patient suffers and then what the patient how the patient is healed with epilepsy surgery mm -hmm. the, the painting is going to stay in the university hospital that's incredible thank you so much for joining us dr jose taez really appreciate your time today and of course if you want to know more about epilepsy well we'll find out firsthand from someone who lived with it and has now gotten the surgery to